go shopping. You can go shopping down Bridge Street any time you like. So what happens at Chantilly then? There's a guidebook. You can read. Oh. Oops. <laughs> it's Jim Davidson. I'm enjoying it, actually. It's rather good. Tough luck. <laughs> and don't expect Gordon to buy you any sweets, either. We don't buy friendship. <laughs> What's your knobs? Oh. <laughs> He's different by size and great... Virgils of the past would be <laughs> Snow White, who had the seven dwarfs. <laughs> He's got the three dwarfs because of the soil on my head. We've had this before. crush a milk flirt, I'll never live it down. I mean, never. <laughs> BBC News 24, giving you the news when you want it. Or indeed, whether you want it. <laughs> or not. Helen was lucky. At least she now has the chance of a new life. But there are 250 other people on the waiting list for this operation, some of them children, all of them desperately ill. There's an acute shortage of donor organs. Doctors... <laughs> oh. yeah. Now. Uh, in fact, I think we're going to have a report, are we, from Peter Biles on the, uh, the O.J. Simpson trial? A civil jury in Santa Monica uh, has... Uh, I'm sorry, that doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, Hello, I'm Alistair Yates. Join me and Tamar Nabili for BBC News Desk. What? Desk. <laughs> Do it again. Carol? Jill? <laughs> this is one of Britain's newest cash crops. Willow. And what's really exciting about it is that with the aid of a little technology, this could be made to power this. <laughs> but an enormous amount of money isn't enough. Colossal horsepower isn't enough. Water, as I'm sure you'll no doubt have noticed if you've ever tried to wade through it, it's sticky stuff. It slows you right down. <laughs> and a reminder that three weeks tomorrow, we reveal the identity of your choice of the BBC Sports Personality of the Year. It'll possibly come, probably come, from a short list like this. <laughs> I'll take you now into the hothouse that is the, the kitchen where Franco is preparing meals for uh, this evening's diners and, uh, whoops! <laughs> I'm gonna miss him, Miss Brit! Me too! Is everything all right, Mr. Partridge? You heard a bit of commotion. No, no, it's fine. Oh, right. Um... <laughs> Do you know you've got chocolate in your face? <laughs> well, in my dream, this is true. 
have any technical problems with the weather tomorrow night. It's looking fairly good. <laughs> so, uh, we can go out to today then. Come in! No, I want the door stuck. <laughs> Jones, how are you? Oh! This is a little extra day made up for quota every year. Thank you very much. Perhaps motorists should think of another way to get around town. Patricia. <laughs> The Austrian equivalent of the Milk Marketing Board can be seen demonstrating how to use their newly introduced wax cardboard milk carton. Then come here, einmal die Öffnungsanweisungen zum Vorschein. An und für sich ist die Packung perforiert. Es kann aber sein, dass dann das händische Öffnen nicht so leicht möglich ist. Sie sehen es auch hier. Mir gelingt es auch nicht, dann nimmt man das. Ja, also da steht Schere. nichts drauf. Was gibt es? Wir haben sie Schere vorbereitet. Schere nichts drauf. Die meisten Packungen mit den moderneren Dekors haben sie also eine Schere. Die schneiden wir jetzt hier einmal auf. Am besten auf der zweiten Seite auch noch. So, machen wir es richtig gut. Dann müssen wir hier die Lasche vorziehen, möglichst einen schönen Schnabel bilden. Also ich hoffe, das ist nicht schon abgeschnitten. Und jetzt werden wir es versuchen. Piado no elevador, é elevador que não sobe, o cara tá conversando com o pé na porta do elevador, assim. Você bota o pé na porta do elevador, entendeu? Comparable de restaurants, très récemment, la ville a reçu une exposition internationale de produits alimentaires, ce qui prouve sa capacité de pourvoir à toutes les éventuelles. Ou à gauche fright. Hello again. Before we continue our programs this evening, we'd like to greet some new Norwegian viewers who are joining us tonight for the first time in route. <laughs> Alcohol, liquor, booze. <laughs> and now for a look at what we'll have at 10 tonight, here's News 7's Ann Lindstrom. Thanks, Kim. Coming up tonight at 10. <laughs> but a man is tired of London. He's great! <laughs> No, it'd be all right this time, really. <laughs> Here we go. This'll do it. This'll do it. Three, two, one. There may be a... <laughs> now, there's another thing that pedestrians do on Bobby... With a genuine will rest sleeper, this fleecy. Right, thank you very much, Kerry. And now to a gentleman that won the Eurovision Song Contest not once but twice from Ireland with his new song called "I'm Not in Love." Will you welcome? I forgot his name now. <laughs> Can you 
tell us the story about how Simon Fraser came to be buried here? Because you died. Your toilets may already have this kind of thing in it, or some may, but I haven't seen one yet, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Is your name Kathy? Yes, it is. Okay. my name's Kathy. <laughs> well, what can people do to help? Well, they could first of all, as far as this vehicle is concerned, is look out for a vehicle that may be abandoned in their road somewhere and we think it was probably uh, somewhere along the A217 towards London but that's not necessarily the case and we'd be grateful if they would look for this particular vehicle it's a silver green BMW registration number ART 242Y isn't it that one there? oh sorry <laughs> Underway at this hour for the Bob Hope Center for Eye Surgery at Presbyterian Hospital. Action Force Scott Wallace is standing by live at the ceremonies with the latest. Scott? Well, of course, Bob Hope is one of America's favorite entertainers. He's also one of Oklahoma's favorites. In fact, he's on the stand right now during this dedication ceremony. So let's listen in to see what Mr. Hope has to say. Thank you very, very much. In an effort to keep people from falling through the ice, the Coast Guard. Yeah. What is it? Oh. Thought you'd have been at your dinner by now. Well, we're not. What do you want? I just came to see if, uh, if you... Oh, I didn't think... If, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, aye. They have their moments too, mind. Ah, but you can always train them. <laughs> what happened? Judge Thomas Corrigan is expected to rule on the closure motion sometime next week. And then shortly after the first of the year, the hearing concerning Wood's competency is expected to begin. Tom Monaghan's any news that helps the superior court. Do there's different criteria in, in diagnosing hypertension in the elderly? Um, well, I used to until the UFI study came along, the European Working Party on Hypertension in the Elderly. And uh, since then, really, I've stuck to more or less the 160 over 90 because of... <laughs> when playing darts, the double always falls upon the floor. When I use a public loo, there's no bolt upon the door. When I pull a Christmas cracker, uh, uh, what do you want? I'm trying to make a John Elway knows in this league with as many teams capable of winning the Super Bowl at least getting that far you got to project maybe a half a dozen teams have the horse <laughs> Solid Master has the inverted colors for easy storing genuine Bakelite handles and a little police on the cover she'll never burn your food and these pants friends are guaranteed as long as you live look at this for abuse At six. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Alleged serial killer Henry Lee Lucas says two Lubbock lawmen provided him with crime scene. <laughs> Oklahoma. Good, Good evening, evening, I'm Jerry Adams. <laughs> Sloan Brown has a... You can see her in the background. She unfortunately is on crutches tonight. So. <laughs> Sloan Brown fell down. And ABC News Brief brought to you by Michelob Light Beer. Now from Washington, Sandra Van Oker. Good evening. <laughs> Craig in Ottawa to tell us what he's got there. Craig? <laughs> Good morning, Craig. Yeah. What are you going to be doing for us in Ottawa? Mm -hmm. We're not on yet, are we? Yes. <laughs> We're on. <laughs> Turn anyone from three, and here's the girl who's hoping to strike it lucky. 
Was she in for something? <laughs> Her name is Carmel, and she comes from the East Midlands. Come in, Carmel. Bring great news, my job, Lord of the Universe. <laughs> One of the fiercest critics of the District Council's failure to provide a... <laughs> Most of the murders that you'll find here are unadoptable. They're the battered victims of human neglect and cruelty. Well, tonight on PM Magazine, we're going to meet the man that formed this organization. We'll... <laughs> <laughs> No, I think Christmas is, is a wonderful thing. I think they should have it every year. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Shalimar, all right. Hey, Sue. And you can take that to the bank. That's why what Blake said. Let me get the names of Shalimar. I'm Jeffrey Daniel. Jody Watley. Uh, ooh. <laughs> places. In which state of the United States was President Kennedy assassinated in Texas? <laughs> Asian was released from the hospital this week and said it's the first time in years I've been able to cross my legs. <laughs> quaintly shaped lump is a Nuttall's Minto and we always used to say there's an R in eating one. You hear? Roll it around. Soften your Minto. The only enjoyment is delightfully milky. <laughs> Hi, John Forsyth for the KLZZ Radio. Great car giveaway. Want to win this hot new Fiero? Just, this Fiero's so hot, it's rolling by itself. Who <laughs> like the damn door? Help! Well, it's an extraordinary looking bike. What is so special about it? How would you sell it to me? It's first obvious advantage is that I'm sitting very much lower to the soil. And in doing so, even my short legs can touch it. Handy when you've got a machine of this weight. So come get your bumper sticker today and listen every afternoon at this time for our drawing. On weekdays, you can win a $20 Coco gift certificate and on Fridays, a 19-inch color TV. Now for the drawing. <laughs> Proud to wear year in, year out. So give Dad the gift of lasting quality from guns, where quality is a tradition. <laughs> Stay tuned. She's got a lot to tell you. One day, when Billy and the animals were sitting on top of the hill, Woodley said... Really special recital. It's okay, Ma. Go to the recital. Thanks. You owe me one. <laughs> and action! Cue the wave. Describe what you're 
achieved by today's event? Well, I think today is the second stage. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Okay. What do you hope to achieve by today's event? Today is a follow-up of the song. Ready, steady. Do it now. That's it. Keep stirring and taste it. Yeah. <laughs> one more. largest selection of VHS and beta movies. Come to the video station. Yes, hold this. Come to the video station. <laughs> hey, Murray, I'll just do it once. Murray, Murray, Murray. Now watch very closely. We have three cards. No, there's four. I can see you enough one. <laughs> A schnook? Where'd that come from? What's a schnook? Now, wait a minute, you guys. Knock it off. I think we better go visit the little people who live. <laughs> Bully Bay, they'll be amazed to see a lavoir near Radio Corner. It was never there at all. Well, it was, but it's been so overgrown for so long that nearly everybody... Number 8's Dalmatian mascot started duty with the department as a puppy. Firemen say he was eager to serve, always becoming upset when he was left behind on a run. He was injured in the line of duty several times, mainly the victim of motorists. In his later years, he was forced into retirement because of arthritis. Well, the department gave Sparky a funeral today at the Wayside Waifs Pet Cemetery. <laughs> Ik ben nog niet zeker dat ik het niet zeker heb. Ik heb het niet zeker dat ik het niet zeker heb. Ik heb het niet zeker dat ik het niet zeker heb. Ik heb het niet zeker dat ik het niet zeker heb. Ik heb het niet zeker dat ik het niet zeker heb. Ik heb het niet zeker dat ik het niet zeker heb. Ik heb het niet zeker dat ik het niet zeker heb. Ik heb het Hello, good evening, good afternoon, goodbye. <laughs> it's now half past one. It's been snowing here for some 18 hours. This road is about three miles outside the village of Dramara. And as you can see, any kind of movement. <laughs> is not up for renewal at this moment because my team has not really performed up to its potential. <laughs> is on the move and Thursday night the Pittsburgh Spirit join us to help head off hunger as we collect food. Speaking on the Phenom, the top 
Interesse bei den Mädchen und die mehrfache Europameisterin von Olympia. Here we go then. What's in the box? Three questions. I can answer yes or no. After the three, you guess. If you guess it right, it's yours. Away you go. Three questions. Yeah, you put questions to me. Oh, sorry. And uh, I say yes or no. Right. Um, how old are my children? <laughs> how old are your youngest children? And I can answer yes or no. Oh, sorry. Uh, I've got, 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 got you away. Oh, my God. You're okay now? Yes, I'm You're back on. Okay. <laughs> I can only say yes or no to any of these questions, do you realise that? Yeah, uh, am I employed or not employed? No, no, no. We're playing a different game here. Let's get on the same game so we might have some fun. You have to ask me three questions to try and get clues to what's in the box. Oh. Right? So you say, is it square, is it round, or whatever. Oh, boy. And that gives you clues. Now, now I, you can talk about your family if you want to, and you get clues from that, but it won't help you very much with this game. Right. So I've got to ask a squ square, round... Oh, no, whatever you like, to try and get a clue to what's in this box. Oh, right. And then if you guess it, you win it. Right. It's square? No. <laughs> Round? <laughs> I think... <laughs> I'll tell you what. Come on tomorrow night, we'll have a chat with the rules. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's, uh... Oh, and the access to this market, uh, I think it's a big advantage for the, advantages for the American market, uh, manufacturers. What's your name, Michelle? Michelle. Uh, you don't leave the Marrero bus, do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> How do you feel about George Bush? He's a OK guy. It's all right. OK, thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, please. Please. Come on. Come on. Eight. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh, God. Come on, Go. Okay, we're lifting. Yes! Oh, God. Yes, go. Beautiful. In the wrong place. Quick. Is via mijn postgiro een voordelige reisverzekering willen afsluiten. Oh, Dacht ik even naar het postkantoor voor wat buitenlands geld. Feed make-up seeing that you're a very important part of the show. Good. Fine. I'm oh. Hey, they're hoping to raise millions for charity, you know. That's why it's your chance. To help those who really need your help. And yours. <laughs> if you have an antenna, we're still on eight, but I think we're ten now. Cable Vision and Greensboro and High Point. We'll tune in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No! Oh. <laughs> Have you noticed uh, a great drop in the price of meat being auctioned here? Tous, il existe près de 300 clubs d'aviron en France. La région où les autres se sortent, mais pas en reste. Sachez en effet que Laura Mouli. You ready? Yep. If you'd like a copy of that recipe, just send a stamped self-addressed onion. <laughs>
que le site ressemble davantage à un jardin d'Éden qu'à une arche. Ah, 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 ah. What do you do with leftover paint, used oil, and old car batteries? Well, the Humboldt County Office of Environmental Health has a new way to get rid of some old hazardous waste. Joining me in the studio this evening is okay. Jeff. <laughs> We're working all day to put out hot spots. <laughs> Peshek of Austria reversed two and a half somersaults with Pike. This is what counts. This is the master at work. <laughs> well. Yeah, great natural skier he is. <laughs> and wins, looks through a completely clean windscreen, and that's the big advantage, of course, of being in front. Advantage of getting your line wrong. Now, for real spectacular driving, watch this. And it <laughs> Don't see, shall I? All right then. Okay, Robbie, you go with her. And if she's not there, you to come straight back. Come on. Monsieur Le Bleuot, attention. And the apparatus has collapsed. drug addicts we've also had receivers or handlers of stolen property paying for uh, the, paying for the proceeds of burglary in, in drugs so yes there are indications that going to well the nation's public libraries say they're neglected underhanded oh We are. We've had two British wins, one for Ireland and now one for Germany. And Otto Schäfer, the first time that you've jumped here. Oh, sorry. My name is Stephen. Otto is the name of my heart. <laughs> you find me in the mortuary of Monsieur Alphonse, the undertaker, posing for a statue of me, the hero of the resistance. With any luck, it will not be long before the Germans are defeated. Michel of the resistance has... I am sorry, I am lost for words. Action. No, I'm sorry. It's like the force went to that. Despite its 
idyllic and somewhat isolated situation, the trout farm does suffer that scourge of urban. <laughs> And this is the beast that gives a spite. <laughs> What's more important, Roger? Medals or records? <laughs> <laughs> What's burning? Fast my breakfast! Ow! Ow! Oh, it's quite all right, Miss B. I can manage it very well, my own, thank you. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Liz? You're a bundle of nerves. Well, I thought it was hyacinth. <laughs> and now, the great conquer challenge. Great fanfare, guys. Thanks for that. Oh! Leave you with the comforting thought that the BBC is in good health and structurally sound. Got a film, do anything, any speed up your paddle. Like that. And as you're paddling, the wave comes up, you hit the top of the wave, and then you go. Whoa! And supporters at the ground were hoping that uh, collapse was not going to be These mountains are obviously contemptuous of anything prosaic in life. Therefore, people reach out to extremes. And where a simple au revoir can be translated into very dramatic action. <laughs> Did you find it easy to strike up a relationship on the pitch together? Well, I mean, Corky's an easy sort of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Can you hear my voice clearly? Yes, I can, Bob. Then we'll begin. <laughs> For a total prize of £3,200, I'm going to ask you a five-part question which will require five correct answers. Should you wish to piss? Should you wish to piss? <laughs> Should you... How long for? Um, about 15 minutes till Golden. Nice part, Avenue. So, this I'll one... I'll put this one in. That comes out nice and hot, and hopefully with ease. And have we got a fork to taste it with? Let's uh, we'll get. I'll tell you what. We'll put it out, let it cool a bit, taste it. Yeah. In a minute. That does look fantastic. Look. At... Okay. Great, Cameron. Bye. Give fire. About <laughs> this all night, but I have suddenly developed this migraine. Oh, but... uh, hold on, Kelly. We're, we're discussing our marriage. Well, well, don't let me stop you. G good night. Ah! <laughs> Behind this door is your mesh bond, a Jane bond, and we've selected her for a very special mission. Let's go. <laughs> well, when you come... <laughs> Don't forget, join Chris, Richard Whiteley and myself for the Calendar Road Show. Six o'clock. At the Compass Gardens. Take this. Ship up. <laughs> <laughs> So welcome to Sunrise Sports. Oh, I'd love to have a look, yeah. But um, only one at a time over the bridge. It's a little bit wonky. <laughs> All right, I'll... Uh... Oh, yeah, I think, I think it'll just about take me. Right. Um, 
while we're passing this large tree over here, I'll just... Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Can you please welcome Top Chef Anthony Worrell Thompson? Yay! How you doing? Boy, you. put your leg up there, show him your kecks. Look, look. <laughs> Cut open a medium-sized pumpkin and clean it out. You can use any color paint you like. We chose gold, of course. We even painted a few fall leaves to act... You're just waiting until somebody comes online and says you. No, that's not it. I just, I'm not a big Mariah Carey fan. Do I have to be? No. Let's, but, clap if you're a big Mariah Carey Mariah. <laughs> I gotta stop doing the hot dotties before our show. Whoa! Parenting has warned that at least a third of uncooked chickens on sale in the UK are contaminated. He claims they contain an orgasm. <laughs> so, there goes the cup to the player who's going to pick it up. Steve Riley is the player who's posing with the cup in his grasp when it was. <laughs> tunnel in snowbanks near the road. A few years ago, one boy actually... I felt I'd belong to a minority language that ne has never actually been given its proper full life. Sorry. <laughs> um, I think um, Alan's rather unwell, Tim, actually, so let's just carry on. Um, we feel on both games that uh, we should have got something out of it. I mean, the minimum we should have is a couple of points now. One could argue perhaps four in the Wimbledon game, but that's not happened. An ideal in reality, and we're going up there too. <laughs> that was nearly reality, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but I can tell you, his favourite video is Abigail's Party. Watches it all the time, just to find out what the neighbours are doing. Uh, artifacts found in the ground, uh, archaeologist uh, artifacts. And was this in the south of Greenland or all over? It's uh, from uh, mid Greenland, the most of the artifacts we have here. This is crucifix uh, from the farm uh, uh, under uh -oh. the sand. We call it the farm. It looks perfect, doesn't it? Yes. It's uh, made of tree. <laughs> now that means that when it was built, Charles II was on the throne, Samuel Pepys was still writing his diaries, and London, which is only about 30 miles away, was in the grips of the Great Plague. <laughs> it's got everything. Two gliding sections at the top, some fast sweeping turns with adverse cambers. <laughs> I'm <laughs> tripping over and cracking three vertebrae. I just want you to woo me. You never woo me no more. Is that all? <laughs> we'll find somewhere a bit more cheerful. It may not be cheerful, but it's magical. Anyway, have all this. Jenny, come on, the sun. <laughs> assumed he was going to tell us to get out of this area because of danger and in, in, in fact I, I just said uh, hurry up and take a picture because the policemen are coming and here we're watching this the cameraman just happened to be shooting this and all of a sudden <laughs> are similar to or identical to those that we call joy, love, compassion, fear, despair,
jealousy. <laughs> Certainly, joy. <laughs> Mischief. Mischievous. win my stamp of approval they'll win yours too but you need to be quick great cars like these just don't last long told you last night on News Center all this week, we'll be bringing you season's greetings from servicemen and women who can't get home for the holidays. Tonight's greeting comes from our Master Sergeant Agus Erickson. Tomorrow's <laughs> <laughs> greeting goes out to a family of date. How <laughs> 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 next you know the way again? <laughs> Cal Worthington of Worthington Ford. Now I want to show you some trucks here that are flat worth the money. Boy, you can't. Oh, oh. <laughs> you got it on my toe. <laughs> Tomorrow, the last day of summer. Sharon? Karen. Susan. 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 <laughs> it's a foaming aerosol. See what happens when I spray it? The foam bills and. No dripping. <laughs> Farrell says that it's easier to be a sex object than being a human being. But Farrell... I feel the need to bring this to the attention of the public and to the intention of the ministry in order to persuade Narex to take the proposal, proposals and peddle them in a more positive fashion. Not necessarily elsewhere, but to re-examine the whole program of radioactive... <laughs> And you've given me this wonderful photograph, which, uh, if we can just get a close-up of that now, uh, shows you. <laughs> but the kind of service you get here comes with a smile. Hey, Vern, boiling up some of them Louisiana lobsters again, eh? Are you crazy, man? Didn't you hear Pat Shingleton and Terry Burhan's weather forecast on TV, too? That Pat and Terry have got them a computer, Vernon. They are wired for weather. Didn't you hear them say it was going to rain any second? We are talking pinpoint, Bar. Next time, talk to your old buddy Ernest first, know what I mean? <laughs> this is Metropolitan Memo, and where the hell are the lights? <laughs> it's a beautiful water hole. Oh, don't step on a snake or something. Yeah. <laughs> what planet is this? Morning, Mr. Sunshine. Turn south. Turn down that bloody noise. I have enough heavy metal between me ears. We're hunting, disgusting, sneaking out. <laughs> of karate. Uh-huh. Yes, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
frame and then you pick it back up Billy doing the range recently and won an Oscar for Clint Eastwood. Well, we, we've, uh, we're not going to win any Oscars for this because it's, it's a true story, but uh, Amanda Coulson, 22 years old, will become the first woman to fight in the ABA, the, uh, the National Amateur Championship. We've got an interview with her.